Hey everybody, this is Mr. Bullock and this lesson's a quick one on Pythagorean triples and then Pythagorean triples deals with uh, right triangles. Everybody's heard the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Just make sure that c is always opposite this right angle right here. It's called the hypotenuse, you guys. So, uh, so let's try some of these. Is this triangle a right triangle with sides 2, 3, and 4? So ask yourself, is 2 squared plus 3 squared equal to 4 squared? If it is equal to 4 squared, then it is a right triangle. If it's not, then it's not, equal to, it's not a right triangle. And 4 plus 9 does not equal 16. So it's not a right triangle. It's a triangle. It's just not a right triangle. Okay, so try this one, 3, 4, 5. Is 3 squared plus 4 squared equal to 5 squared? So you get 9 plus 16, and yeah, that ends up being 25. So it is a right triangle. And 3, 4, 5 is called a Pythagorean triple because it makes up a nice right triangle. Now if I, and I'm going to call them P triples from now on, so uh, just to save a little time right here. So uh, if I multiply 3, 4, 5 times 2, here's 3 times 2, here's 4 times 2, here's 5 times 2. And it turns out if I do 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared, it, it's, it makes it true, you guys. So 6, 8, 10 is also a P triple, you guys. Now check this out. If I multiply 3, 4, 5 times 3, 3 times 3, 4 times 3, 5 times 3, well, that comes up, and that's also a P triple also, you guys. So whenever I multiply a P triple by, by some constant number, it just gives me more P triples. So watch. Here's 3, 4, 5s, you know, times 2, times 3, times 4, uh, times 5, and uh, or you know times anything you guys it's just going to give me uh, three four five multiples uh, p triples okay here's some more uh, common p triples you guys five twelve thirteen five squared plus twelve squared equals thirteen squared so if I uh, take five twelve thirteen and multiply it by two that's another p triple five times two is ten twelve times two and thirteen times two that's another p triple so here it is times three another p triple times four another p triple times five times n. These are multiples of 5, 12, 13 p triples. Okay, let's do a couple more common p triples, you guys. 8, 15, 17. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. So there they are by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5. Look, right down here, this is 8 times 5. This is 15 times 5. This is 17 times 5. And if you did your math correctly, 40 squared plus 75 squared would equal 85 squared. Okay, so those are all p triples right there. All right, uh, let's do some more. 7, 24, 25 is also a common uh, P triple. They're sides of a right triangle. And 9, 40, 41 is also, you guys. So there's infinitely many more. Um, say, for example, I gave you this right triangle and it said solve for X. You can do your Pythagorean theorem and write down 7 squared plus X squared equals 25 squared and crank out your algebra. You're going to end up getting 24, but I knew it was 24 because it was, came from this P triple right here. It was the missing piece to that P triple. If I have a list of infinitely many more, you guys, if you guys want a list of these, I have a big list. If, um, it's on my computer. Just email me at jbullock, B-U-L-L-O-C-K, at sanjuan.edu, and I'll be happy to send you a bunch of them because they're groovy. Okay, let's try some sample problems. These came off of old SAT questions, you guys, and so SAT people seem to be addicted to uh, these kind of Pythagorean triples. So um, here we go. In the figure, what's the length of OH over here, okay? So I have I have this right angle right there. If that's a right angle, this side's a right angle right here. So this is a right triangle that has two lengths on it, 9 and 15. Well, this is 3 times 3. This is 5 times 3. So it becomes to be a 3, 4, 5 multiple. So that missing side right there is going to be that 12. So this length right here is 12. I mean, you can do the Pythagorean theorem, 9 squared plus x squared equals 15 squared. Or you can save yourself some time and figure out it's 12. So if that guy's 12 right there, then what's the other length that goes with 5 and 12? You've got to know that other P triple. And if you do, it just saves yourself some great testing time. 5, 12, 13 is a P triple, so the answer is B. OH is B over there. Okay, let's try another one. Got a, a right triangle inscribed in a circle with radius 26, and one of the legs of the triangle is 20. Find the area. All right, let's put some lengths in there. The radius is 26, and there's that leg right there. That's 20 right there, okay? And then, so if the radius is 26, the whole diameter is going to be 52, 2 times 26, okay? And then, uh, it's kind of hard to see this one, but 12, uh, 20... 20 and 52, those two lengths were multiples of 5, 12, 13. 5 times 4 is 20, 13 times 4 is 52. So 12 times 4, you guys, is 48. So if I put that back on that triangle, there's the length right there, and it says find the area. OK, 
Okay, you guys are comfortable with uh, having triangles standing up because the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So the base is that blue 20 down there and the height is that 48. So one half uh, 20 times 48 and I get 480. And whatever the units are, like centimeters, it would be centimeters squared or inches squared or just units squared. Area is always in square units, you guys. Okay, here's one more and we'll just stop after this. You've got a rhombus. It has sides uh, rhombus has side 5 centimeters and one diagonal 6 centimeters. Find uh, the length of the, diag the other diagonal and the area of the rhombus. So this, I should put the word other inside of here. So the length of the other diagonal right here. Okay, a rhombus is like a square that's squished over, you guys. So here's a figure. The figure's not given, but there's a figure right there. It's like taking a square and squishing it over. They still have all the sides are equal on a square, but there's no more right angles in it. So five's going around, and here's that one diagonal six. Okay, the other one says, uh, part A says, find the length of this diagonal right here. So if I draw that other diagonal in there, what happens is, is, is a rhombus is a parallelogram, and diagonals bisect each other, you guys. So instead of having the whole length being six, it now becomes three and three. And what's special about rhombi is, you guys, rhombi is plural, um, is uh, the diagonals are perpendicular, so I have a right angle in there, or right triangle. And look, there's three and there's five, so it's a three, four, five right triangle. So if that side's four, that side's four, because the diagonals are bisected each other. So the whole other diagonal is four and four, or eight. Okay, now the second part's easy if you know the formula. The area of a rhombus is half the product of the diagonals. So I know one diagonal is six, I know the other diagonal is eight, so half of six times eight, and I get 24. And again, it's area, so it would be, you know, square unit. So in this case, it would be 24 centimeters squared. Okay?